How do you know when a British car needs oil? It stops leaking. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome back to the shop. I'm going to take a look at this uh, Spitfire engine and uh, try to what is causing uh, the, the amount of leakage that I've got. It's, it's not a lot, but it's enough to uh, be um, annoying. I've um, done a little bit of research on uh, considering adding vacuum to the crankcase to basically uh, not push the oil out. And I think that's probably part of the solution. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little bit of an overview of what this engine is and how it's currently set up. Um, I redid this engine about six years ago. Um, I've got flat top pistons on it. The head's been shaved to increase the compression ratio. Uh, it's got a uh, standard cam in it, so no, nothing uh, special from that standpoint. It has, uh, it requires um, 93 octane to run without pinging. I've added some HS4 carburetors to this car. Um, and in doing so, I've uh, kind of rearranged how the, um, the uh, scavenging system works here for the crankcase. I've got um, the... Uh, crankcase hooked up to uh, the um, the carburetors, and this go all goes into the um, charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is not sealed; it is open to the open to the air. So essentially, when this is running, um, the crankcase at best at best should be running at uh, atmospheric pressure, so uh, no gauge, so zero gauge. And uh, I, I don't think that that's, uh, that's enough. So. so I came up with two different solutions. And the reason for the second one is the first one didn't work. <laughs> so here's the second solution. Then I'll explain what I did with the first. So um, what I ended up doing is basically separating uh, the carburetor vacuum lines from the, the vacuum line that I've created using the tap off of the intake manifold. So uh, what I've got here is uh, I've put in put in this line, and this is uh, just the a, a prototype. I'm going to pretty this up a little bit later. But um, what I've got is the tap here, and I've I put a P uh, C V valve in, and then right directly to the crankcase. And this is the, the solution to get vacuum into the crankcase for me. There may be other ones out there, but this is what I'm going to do. And what I'm finding is I've got a really, really nice um, low level of leakage, if any leakage at all. So that changes the answer to the question of, uh, well, uh, <laughs> when do you know that a, an English car needs oil? You check the dipstick, so that's the new answer. All right, so where did I get this PCV valve uh, from? This is off of a mid-90s uh, Geo Prism, which is also, I think, a, a Suzuki something or other. But this is for a 1.6 liter engine, and this is working well. Um, the other half of this solution is I, I've now got vacuum on the the uh, charcoal canister which is up front here so the charcoal canister now has only vacuum from the carburetors and that is both of the carburetors are tied in from uh, for that vacuum and the only two lines that are coming through uh, that are going through that charcoal canister now are the um, the line from the gas tank so this is evacuating the fumes out of the gas tank and the headspace in the gas tank and also any overflow fumes from the carburetor, which comes off of the two taps that are that are perpendicular to these lines. One here, I guess that one's not perpendicular, but it's close enough. So I've got both, both of those two lines are going in to the car, uh, to the charcoal canister, and I've got one line coming out uh, that separate into each of the vacuums. And that was what I also did on my first solution. So what was my first solution? Well, I didn't use a PCV valve. What I ended up doing is putting a, a scavenger tank in, and I put that scavenger tank up front here on the, the baffle 
uh, you can see where the screws are still in place and I'll take those out. But um, what I forgot to do or what didn't recognize that I needed it was I didn't put a PCV valve in. And actually, I probably, if I had more room in this engine compartment up front, I probably would have kept this tank, but uh, I really didn't wait, look like the way the lines looked. So um, the other thing was um, without a PCV valve, I had 15 inches of mercury directly to the carburetors or sorry, directly to the, um, the manifold, and that uh, caused a real lean condition and a lot of backfire. Um, not good. So um, this is my solution, and I'm sticking with it. Um, I will in the future um, do a little bit of uh, rerouting to make that look prettier, but I really like the way this is, uh, this is working at this point. So I think I've solved my leakage problem.